Hello, my name is Matty. Welcome to my storyland. The English poet Sir Henry Newbolt, sometimes referred to as the naval Kipling, wrote Drake's Drum in 1879. The Drake of the poem is Sir Francis Drake, legendary 16th century English sea captain, privateer and explorer, and vice admiral of the English fleet as it defeated the incoming Spanish Armada in 1588. Drake was buried at sea, wrapped in his hammock in the naval custom, off the Panamanian coast near the town of Nombre de Dios. The drum of the poem refers to one taken off his ship and returned to England. Legend has it that if ever Britain is imperiled, the drum will beat and Drake will return to once again save his country. In the poem, the dons refer to the Spanish, Drake's greatest enemy, and as for the hoe, it's actually a landmark in the English port town of Plymouth. My father learnt this poem as a child, and today it is my pleasure to read it to you. Are you ready? Then let's begin. Drake's Drum by Sir Henry Newbolt. Drake, he's in his hammock and a thousand miles away. Captain, art thou sleeping there below? Slung atween the round shot in Numbered Dios Bay and dreaming all the time of Plymouth Ho. Yonder looms the island, yonder lie the ships, with sailor lads a dancing heel and toe. And the shore lights flashing and the night tide dashing, he see it all so plainly as he saw it long ago. Drake, he was a Devon man and ruled the Devon seas. Captain, art thou sleeping there below? Roving though his death fell, he went with heart at ease, and dreaming all the time of Plymouth Ho. Take my drum to England, hang it by the shore, strike it when your powder's running low. If the dawn sight Devon, I'll quit the port of heaven, and drum em up the channel as we drummed them long ago. Drake, he's in his hammock, till the great armadas come. Captain, art thou sleeping there below? Slung atween the round shot, listening for the drum, and dreaming all the time of Plymouth Ho. Call him on the deep sea, call him up the sound, call him when you sail to meet the foe. Where the old trade's plying, and the old flag flying, they shall find him where and waking, as they found him long ago. And with that, I bid you farewell. I hope you enjoyed the poem. Perhaps I'll see you again. I certainly hope so. Until then. Hello, Maddie here. Thanks for watching me read stuff. There are lots more videos of me reading stuff over on my channel. And if there's other stuff you'd really like me to read, just let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And I upload new videos all the time. So maybe hit the bell icon too, so you can get notified when new stuff comes out. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.